the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today I've got something a little new, at least new to me, from Nongshim out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Hey, this is their noodle salad sesame vinaigrette, and it's a cold noodle, and it sounds interesting. It takes four and a half minutes to cook, and that's what's going on in the day today. We start off with some veg, it looks like. Well, it looks like quite a bit of it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hopeful you can. But, yeah, there's our veg. That's going to go in the boil, as is the noodle block. Uh, it's a non-fried. Looks kind of buckwheaty. So we'll drop that in. And you get to watch. You get to watch the, and have the full experience of seeing noodles boil. And that is the best I can do for you. It's kind of a funny one too because you know you gotta cook it and then you gotta drain it and rinse it with cold water. So that's that's an interesting thing. Cold noodle. And then we'll put that in there at the end after we drain it and rinse it with cold water. Oh, yeah. But yeah, definitely something good for the summer months. Cold, refreshing, and enjoyable for your face hole should you have one. If you don't, then you really need to see a doctor. It's indicated. If you if you don't have a way to like take in sustenance because your mouth is permanently closed. I can say personally my there there might be constituents that might wish mine was somewhat closed sometime. But it's not, so that's what happens. But yeah. Um, tomorrow is Lunar New Year's Day, or at least it's part of it. They, they uh, February 10th, they keep saying is New Year's Day, Lunar New Year. So I'll take whatever they give me. Really would like to go down to Seattle, go to the University District. Is it, you know, it's the International District, rather. And go see the lion dance and all that good stuff. One t one year, we got invited to the the Singap Singaporean meetup group. I can't remember what it was. It was like people who are from Singapore that live down in the Seattle area now. Really nice bunch. And uh, yeah, we did. Uh, it's called a prosperity toss. So it was kind of like a new thing at the time, and I think it's less new now. It was during the SG50 big stuff, the 50th anniversary of Singapore. And Prosperity Toss is like they have like a little bit of shredded carrot, and that represents this, and a little bit of this, and this represents that. And then everybody at the table gets together, and when it's time to toss it, you toss it like a salad. And they have all these different aspects that equal prosperity. And it was great. It was really a lot of fun. I'd love to go to something like that again. Oh, man. But, yeah, there were all people that originally lived in Singapore that moved to the Northwest. And it was really cool. I wonder if they do that still. I know, I know COVID killed a lot of those neat events and things like that. But it was a long time ago. I'd love to do that again. Yeah. Yeah. I should talk to the people that I talked to before and see if they still want to do such a thing. That'd be great. It was nice. This is going to be a lot of food for this salad style dealing. I mean, look at all of it. Wow. I've got a something that it's going to be cooked in or uh, presented in that should fit all of that food. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we kind of wanted to go down to Seattle and go to the International District, but that's just not happening. Not this time around. We got a lot of stuff to do. But. I don't know. It'll happen. Maybe next year. Ugh, I hate that. Let's see. 
Next year at this time, I'll be staring down the the horrible visage of becoming 50 freaking years old. What's up with that? Wow. Getting over the hump, looking down the short, short journey into the afterwards of life. No, I don't think so. I'm going to live forever, baby. My wife, she don't want to live forever. She's like, oh, if I got to be on this and that, just just end it for me and all that. Like, no, no, I've, I've got to... I've, I've got noodles to review forever. Uh, there it is. Now we need cold water. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. See, I gotta hurry up because my wife is done with lunch and it's time to have our text conversation. And I gotta do, I gotta finish this up so I can talk to my lady. More important than doing this show, at least the way I feel about it. So we just rinse it in really cold water. And I'm gonna actually even chill the pot. There we go. So that should be good there. Want it nice and come on. There. There's a lot of vegetable in here. I'm I'm enthusiastic about this. I was expecting it just to be a little bit, but it looks like there's a lot of it. A lot of little bit bits. But yeah, I think this is going to be kind of like a Hayashi Chuka Soba. I don't know much about this product, but I'll know how it tastes momentarily. But the noodle is either a it's either a buckwheat soba or something else. But it's uh, it's got that Hayashi Chuka scent to it. This is a sesame vinaigrette. And you know when it's a you, some people think cold noodle that's gross. But no, it actually can end up working very well. And there's my wife, so I gotta hurry. Uh-oh. Oh no, I must hurry! My wife! Okay, so let's give this a try really quick. And after we talk, it'll be time to get the kids off the bus. Quick day today. Mmm. Here's the vegetable action. Mmm. Indeed, it's a sweet sesame vinaigrette. It works very well. This is good. I am enthused. Enthusiasticism. Okay. I want to make sure to eat those that that veg is visible because there's quite a bit of it in this. That's lovely. It's lovely. It is. We're also going to include our friend, right, come on, my wife's probably like, you answer the phone when I text you at lunchtime, like instantly, what's going on, you, don't worry, I won't get in trouble or nothing. There. And a little bit of spring onion. And some sesame seed. And a little crushed.
crushed red pepper. And that's gonna finish her off. And uh, a qu very quick rotation. Very quick, because I want to talk to my lady. And I just have to remember what this song is called so I can start with this one the next time I do reviewing, which is probably going to be over a week from now. Cosmic Candy. All right, well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Like, subscribe, helps me out, helps everybody out. Have a good one and bye-bye.